Hello everyone, you know it's been a long time. Cherries have been one of the most beloved fruits in the world. With their vibrant colors and sweet taste with a slight tartness, cherries provide a wonderful experience for the taste buds. But have you ever wondered about the process of growing, harvesting, and processing the cherries we love? In this video, we will explore the magical journey from the orchard to high-quality cherry products, ready to serve both the consumer market and for export. Cherry fields stretch across the states of the United States, such as Washington, Michigan, Oregon, and California, are considered a paradise for this fruit. Thanks to the cool climate, fertile soil, and modern farming technologies, the U.S. has risen to become one of the world's leading nations in cherry production. In 2023, the cherry growing area in the U.S. was estimated at about 37,000 hectares, with an annual yield ranging from 300,000 to 400,000 tons. Cherries require an ideal farming environment to grow healthily and achieve high yields. The soil must be loose, well-drained, and have an ideal pH between 6.0 and 7.0. Before planting, farmers often add organic or composted manure to enhance the soil's nutrients. Climate also plays a crucial role, as cherries need long, cold winters with 700 to 1200 hours below 7C to stimulate strong growth in the spring. Autumn or spring is the ideal time to start planting cherries. When the weather is mild and the soil is moist enough, trees quickly take root. Each tree should be planted with a distance of 13 to 16 feet to allow its branches and roots to develop freely. When digging the hole, it must be large enough for the roots to grow comfortably. After planting, watering immediately ensures the soil retains moisture so the tree can adapt to its new environment. In this era of high technology, modern machinery has become a reliable companion for American farmers. From specialized planting machines to GPS technology that supports precise planting locations, all are designed to optimize tree placement, helping to increase density and land use efficiency. These machines can dig and plant trees at a much faster rate than manual methods, creating a breakthrough in reducing labor time while ensuring quality. In the early stages, regular watering is essential. The soil must be kept moderately moist so the tree can establish its roots, but it should not be waterlogged. As the tree matures, the amount of watering decreases and is only supplemented when necessary during dry seasons. Fertilization also plays an important role in the tree's development. During the tree structure formation stage, nitrogen-rich fertilizer is used to promote the growth of leaves and branches, laying the foundation for future fruit yield. Pruning is a vital art in maintaining balanced and healthy tree growth. Pruning is usually done in late winter or early spring, when the tree has not yet budded. This step helps remove weak, dry, or overlapping branches, 
so the tree can focus its nutrients on the main branches. This process not only improves yield, but also helps the tree resist potential diseases. In early spring, when the weather starts to warm up, cherry trees begin to blossom with delicate white and pink flowers, creating a stunning scene, signaling a bountiful harvest ahead. Cherry blossoms not only bring a gentle beauty, but also indicate that the tree is preparing to transition into fruiting. After the flowers fall, young cherries begin to form and gradually turn bright red. It typically takes 45 to 90 days for the fruit to fully ripen. Harvesting cherries requires the utmost care. Workers hand-pick them, gently separating each cherry from the branch to keep the stem intact, ensuring freshness and long shelf life. However, for large-scale farms, modern cherry harvesters are used, with the ability to harvest up to 20 tons of fruit per hour without damaging the trees. Immediately after harvesting, cherries are transported to processing plants. Here, they are cleaned, dried, and sorted based on size, color, and shine.
The cherries that meet the highest standards are carefully packaged in boxes or specialized packaging to ensure the fruit reaches consumers in the best quality. As for cherries that don't meet the fresh consumption standards, they will be used to make juice or other processed products. The process begins with washing the fruit to remove dirt and impurities. The cherries are then pitted before being pressed to extract the juice. The juice is carefully filtered to remove the pulp to ensure the final product is of high quality and has a naturally delicious flavor. Next, the cherry juice is heated to kill bacteria and extend shelf life. Some processes may use modern sterilization technology to ensure food safety. Finally, the juice is bottled or canned under strict sanitary conditions, ready to be distributed to the market to meet consumer demand. This processing not only maximizes the use of raw materials, but also expands the consumption of cherry products, adding value to agricultural products. Cherries are not only famous for their sweet and refreshing taste, but are also packed with important nutrients. They provide a good amount of vitamin C, vitamin A, potassium, and manganese. The antioxidants in cherries help protect cells and reduce the risk of disease, improving overall health. Additionally, cherries are an excellent ingredient in cooking. From desserts and salads to juices, syrups, and cocktails, Cherries bring a unique flavor that enriches our culinary experiences. The journey from fruit-laden cherry orchards to the meticulous harvesting and processing process is a story of the combination of nature and technology. We hope this video has helped you better understand the process of producing the sweet and nutritious cherries you love. If you found this video helpful, leave your thoughts and share them with your friends. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.